see what's inside the place, and see if maybe we can get an audience with the Jarl. See what kind of jobs we can do. Hmm, looks very interesting. Hello, I'm guessing this is a guard. As Jarl Leila's house guard, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. I'll try. Did you have some sort of official business here? Mm, I was gonna ask if there are any jobs to do. I'm keeping my eye on you. I wonder if it's okay for us to come over and talk to her there. Oh, did you need something? Uh, was actually trying to see if I could see the Jarl. Oh, I guess we got the audience. Hello. Welcome to Riften, traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. Oh, we get nothing. Good journey. Welcome to, to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. What do you do around here? As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. What are the rumors of corruption you mentioned? There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. That it's corrupt and run by the Black Briar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. Uh, what about the Blackbriar family? Can you tell me anything about them? Maven Blackbriar is the owner of the largest and most profitable business in all Skyrim, the Blackbriar Meadery. We're pleased to have her in Riften. She brings stability, opportunities for employment, and strategic value to our city. Hmm, I guess I got nothing much here. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. We'll try our best to keep obeying, right, Inigo? Right? We're not gonna be killing people, right? I hope not. <laughs> uh, I guess there's not much for to do. What about, uh, maybe we could talk, ask her about her stance on a war. Maybe see if she, we can get her talking about any kind of jobs. What can I do for you? Uh, what is the stance on the current war and conflict? Well, I feel Ulfric's cause is just. My concern is for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. Yo, oh, what of Ulfric himself? With the Stormcloak at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. Hmm. What's a White Blood Concordat? Surely you're aware of the great war between the Imperials and the Elves who called themselves the Aldmeri Dominion? Mm -hmm. When the smoke cleared, the White Gold Concordat was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing peace within the Empire. One of the terms of the treaty was the outlawing of worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. Hmm. Okay, so that's what sent the conflict then. Okay. Good journey to you. You too. I'm guessing there's not much to do here then. Oh, did you need something? Uh, do you have any rumors by any chance? Need something? Uh, excuse me. Huh? There's a curse. Jesus, now mine. It's all seduction. I was gonna see if we could... <laughs> I was gonna see if we could uh, get a job here, but I guess there's no uh, actual openings around here. Well then. Until next time. Yeah, until next time. Right, Indigo, let's see what we can do out of anything around the area. Shrine of Azura, Bart's College, Aventus Sorrentino. Uh, we could probably try to visit Aventus Sorrentino. Bounty from your life. We could head off back to... Uh, back to... God, what is the place called? Kynesgrove, Kynesgrove, Kynesgrove. We could head back to Kynesgrove and get the bounty back. Rocky's Ancestral Shield. We could head away and find Rocky's Ancestral Shield now we got a hunter with us. Okay, yeah, let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can head over in that direction then. That's what we could do. Easily. There, there we go. Look at that. We actually found some sort of something for us to do. We explored the city. We kind of got our bearings around here. We sort of know what happens around Riften, which is really good for us. It is really rainy and windy, so it's going to take us a while to travel back. It looks like there's an... I believe in gate over there. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Not going to lie. It actually looks really cool. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Armor, wait. You gonna buy something or just here for training? Otherwise, move on. Uh, what do you got for sale? Take a look. What do they got here? They do have, they do have armor, which I think maybe means that they may buy our current goods, like an imperial sword. We don't particularly need dag. We don't need drafts. We'll keep the sword of drafts is really good. 
Iron Sword, uh, we can probably... Yeah, we can sell it. Longbow, we can sell. Fine, I guess we can keep. Daggers we're keeping. Gus, it's out of energy, but I think we can sell to somebody else with better coin. Steel Arrow, we'll keep. Dagger, we'll... Actually, we can sell this. Sword, we can keep. No, we already got the mace, we don't need the sword. Uh, what cutters axe we'll keep? Apparel, what can we sell here? Defender, we don't really need. Uh, robes, we can easily sell, no problem. Uh, boots, we can sell as well. These regular boots as well. We don't really need any kind of like fine clothing whatsoever. We just need things we can survive on. Face mask, I'll keep for armor. We can sell. Gold necklace, sell. Hat, sell. Boots, sell. Keep. Ah, uh, we can sell this. Don't really need any of this stuff. Uh, side right. I can give one of those to uh, Inigo actually. Have him wear so he can carry more things. Helmet, we don't need. Uh, she will keep. Blocking, I'll keep the necklace actually. That's good to have. Rings, we don't need. Don't need. We'll keep and we'll keep. Okay, good. Look at that. Look at us. Everything I've got on display, really. Actually, let me see what uh, let me see what she has, if anything in particular. Like any particular leather goods that she may have. Looks like not really a lot of weapons. She only has the ones we sold her. I guess she's really, you know, itching to make a profit then. Well then. Uh, you seem pretty desperate for coin. Having trouble selling your goods? Are you serious? I've moved all over Skyrim selling these bits of junk, and I'm barely scraping by. Seems dangerous for a merchant to be traveling through roads with a war going on. Well, let's all raise a flagon to Ulfric, future king of Skyrim and bringer of poverty to the working class. Say, you look like you could handle yourself. Maybe you can help me, if you're looking for work. Uh, what do you need help with? I need someone to pick up supplies. From Naranya, living in Windhelm. Uh, sure, yeah. Thank you. Just bring it back to me, and I'll gladly pay you for your trouble. Uh, what exactly am I getting for you? No supplies. Uh, what exactly am I getting? Yeah, what exactly am I getting? Don't ask any questions, alright? Just bring it back to me. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Inigo, we got a job. Look at that, we actually got a job for ourselves. Never mind, we do need a job. Just gotta walk around and talk to the people of Riften for this kind of stuff. Take my advice. Stay at the B and Barb. The bunkhouse isn't for you. Okay then, I can certainly do that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and actually see if I can uh, run my way there. It's gonna take us a while. I don't ex exactly expect anything major to be happening around uh, our travel. So, I will be seeing you in a little bit as I make my way over to uh, pick up the supplies and do whatever I need to do. And we finally made it back. We're a little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty. Okay, in you go. This is gonna be a really difficult job. Let's see if you can handle it. There are a lot of, a lot of very, very dangerous necromancers and other creatures there, so we need to be as careful as possible. Let's go have some apples. I'm feeling mildly thirsty. Feeling well sated though. I wonder how thirst is. We should probably still get some water. Feeling well hydrated. Okay, good. We're well sated and well hydrated. All right, Imperial bow. Let's have that with us. See if you can start sneaking in there first of all. Let's go ahead and put on our mask that we're gonna need to wear for this kind of stuff. And Camilla forgot to give Inigo his uh, bag. My friend, Skyrim is a big and often confusing place. We are bound to lose each other from time to time. Never fear, that map you have is special. How so? Let me show you. My brother once found one just like it on the remains of some poor old adventurer in Citadel. It does not only mark locations, it can also show the position of items and people too. Watch this. Where are you, Inigo? There! See? I have placed myself on your map. If we find ourselves separated, all you need to do is look me up. Pretty fantastic, eh? It's great, Inigo. Thank you. No problem. I am always happy to help. Wow. <laughs> That's a really immersive way of getting Inigo to, uh, you know, learn how to mark himself in case we lose him. I need to give you something. Okay. Let us see what we have. Okay. I want to give you a particular uh, sack that I have here. Uh, there we go. Here you go. He is going to have a little patch with him now. Okay. Let us get back to it. Look at that, it looks so cool that he's able to carry just a little bit more than typical. Uh, that should allow us to get a lot more loot through here. Let's go and get up already. Alright, Inigo. Let's see if he can do this. Uh, I guess I can have a dagger with him. 
He seems a lot more experienced in battles and combat than we are, so it's best if we trust him do most of the up-close battles. We will fight when necessary, but I'll trust him when we really need some physical prowess. See, we're not strong here whatsoever. I know we're not strong. We won't be able to handle much of a fight, but he should be able to put up a fight. He seems like a mercenary, although he is on skooma. He might be handled with drawers. If we find any skooma, we should probably keep it away from him, though. I don't remember if I killed anybody here. I think I killed the necromancer that was in this room. It should be the next area forward. That will kind of give us more enemies to fight with. I wonder if I can have a Inigo take the front of the battle. Let's be careful here. Nice and easy. We got a mask on? Yeah, we got a mask on. We're good. Gotta okay, keep ourselves protected just in case somebody recognizes us. There's an Atronach. Put the weapon away for now. I don't see a Necromancer. But I'd say the one flame Atronach. I do not believe we have anything that can fight against an Atronach on us regarding potions. And we're not a spellcaster. I mean, we're a kid. We're, I don't think kids should be practicing any spellcasting until, you know, they are of age. Or else they could really mess up the bodies. There it is. Oh! Turns out it's not as tough as I thought it would be. It does explode though that I completely forgot about. Alright. In you go. In you go. Where do you go? In you go. Where are you? In you go. Where'd you go? In you go. Where did you go? Where did he go? Says he's in front somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where Inigo went. Is he coming back? There he is. There he is. There he goes. Okay. We have Inigo here. I'll take up the marker so we don't have to worry about him. <laughs> we almost lost you there, buddy. Almost lost you there. Don't be, don't be hiding, you know, don't be hiding, it's okay. You're the one who's a fighter, you should be the brave one. You're coughing. It's over there somewhere. Alright, let's keep on going. We do have an ability, actually. We do have a particular ability. We have some powers. We have, a uh, instinct, which I can use also. Night, I wonder how well not I would work here. Oh wow, I see everything in black and white. This should be a little bit easier to spot things. It's a little misty, so it might be difficult. Let me try that again, though. Oh. There we go. Oh, this is going to be a lot better for us when it comes to hunting and also seeing things at night, seeing dark things. This immediately lights everything up. Seeing things like this is going to be a lot better for us. Yes, definitely. Definitely. I should go ahead and mark that as one of my favorite powers. And instincts, have that available. In case we need to see certain things. Nothing still here. It's a little bright down there, so I should probably go ahead and take off Night Eye. There we go, now we can see. I see a necromancer, but I hear a creature. To our left. It's over there somewhere. Alright. Let me use my iron arrow and see if I can take out the necromancer. Let's aim right for the chest here. It might not see us. It might not see us, actually. Let's track it back. It's gonna try to check on the arrow shot. Shit. 
shit. Indigo, Indigo, need help? Did you hear something? Oh, they're coming down. You can't hide from me. Can we? They're coming in, Indigo. You might want to help. Indigo, help. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to explode. I completely forgot about that. Okay, we gotta be careful. Uh, let me go ahead and put on my steel mace and the shield. Uh, let me get my iron shield out. Listen, we're gonna have to go up close and personal with this. Oh, he got him. It's on the other side here. You cannot even conceive of the power I wield. No, we cannot. Keep bashing me though. Keep bashing, keep bashing, keep bashing. Gotta keep on it. Gotta keep at it. Gotta keep at it. Don't you see? I am master of the arcade. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, girl. Keep going. You got him. You got him. You got him. Dismissed. Oh. Okay. Oh. I should have worn my Imperial stuff. I should probably go ahead and put it on so we so be a lot stronger in here. And increase my blocking. Uh, weapon and armor can be approved by 12% better. Two hand attacks do 50% more damage. We should probably go ahead and put that on with us. Right? And we should also have our... Uh, Study Imperial armor, that's fine. We good. Smithing, not gonna worry about that. Uh, we need to have our Imperial armor now on. Let's get the helmet, bracers, and boots on. Okay, we're good. Okay, there we go. Alright. We got our weapon ready. Now we gotta go ahead and equip our two-handed sword here. Wherever it is. Drafts, there we go. Okay. It should be good for us. Hopefully. What can we collect here? I wonder if I can command Inigo to pick up something. I wonder if he can actually loot some things. Speak to me. I need to do something. What would you have me do? How can I help you, my friend? Search him. I regret I cannot do that. You cannot? I am sorry. That is beyond me. No. I guess he's not gonna be looting. Out. Okay, we're gonna have to take all this stuff for us then. Uh, take this to your war staff. That's gonna be really expensive. We wanna keep that with us. Uh, health is gonna regenerate slowly, but surely. See what else we got here from these guys. Scroll static dome, robes. I'll take the robes and everything else. What do we got down here that we need to find? Somebody died here, right? A ruined book, ebony arrow. I guess that's indigos. I'll take that anyway. Oh, there's a mage. Corsag, resist shock, robes. And we can't really take anything any of this here. As another Atronach, we can take that. Okay, books. What have we got here for books? Room book. All these are just room books. Uh, well, you did a good job, Inigo. You did a really good job here. Petty Soul Gem. Nice. All right. Looks like we might be. Looks like we might be pretty. I think we're safe with Inigo. To be honest, I think we are really, really safe with Inigo. Looks so like we won't have to worry about much when we. When it comes to, you know, fighting necromancers, so we got ourselves a battle-hardened, just, I, not really a war veteran, but definitely a veteran of a sword. I'm pretty happy about that. Torchbox Thorax, I don't think we need that stuff. Let's keep heading forward then, Inigo. Wherever Inigo went. Oh, he went back there to check something, okay. What's over here? Oh, this might be one of the quarters where they, you know, sit in. Septims, I'll take that. Robes. Magicka, potion. Coin. Now nah, we good. Wolf Queen, part three. I don't think it's gonna be anything regarding what we have to do around here. End table, what do we got? Nothing in particular. Canis root, we probably could take that and bone meal, sure. Not really done anything regarding Canis Root, but I know we have Bone Meal. Excuse me, Inigo. Okay. Let's be as careful as we possibly can be here. 
Are we still wearing a mask, by the way, with this helmet on? Let me check. We aren't. Okay, so we can only wear hats. Let me go ahead and... now. Nah, I'll just stick with the... Uh, the helmet here. That's gonna keep us a lot better protected against whatever we're gonna fight. It's not gonna give us magical resistance against things. But will defend us physically. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit scary. There's a vast open ground here. I don't know if there are any necromancers in this particular area. A shield is over there, but it looks like a trap. See if you can investigate parts around here first. See what we can find. And if there are any necromancers we need to kill, we'll kill them right away. Kill on sight. Some ingredients, healing potion. I'll take that. Nothing up there. Nothing over here. Except some ore. Hmm. We don't need the carrots, but this ore, though. I will take the ore. The ore is kind of needed for us in order to, you know, make things and just sell things and practice our smithing and level up as well. Perfect. There we go. Ore being depleted, and we can level up a little bit. Uh, let's level up a little bit of our st uh, stamina so we can, you know. Wheel weapons a little bit better. Uh, let's see, speech. We could increase speech if we want to. No, we already have speech mastery. Lock picking, sneak. Can we do anything with sneak? Sneak mastery. Sneaking is 40% more effective. Let's do that. Let's put a point into. I think we should put it into smithing, honestly. To make our smithing a little better. Auto cannon. You can create Dwemer auto cannons at a forge of anvil. Use the Dwemer Auto Cannon power to deploy them. Cannon fire parallel to your crosshair for 30 seconds, dealing damage equal to 30% of the smithing skill if you're within 12 feet. So we could actually step into the engineering territory. I kind of want to put a pointer to that, see, you know, where it takes us. Is that all the points we spent? Yeah, that's all the points we got. Okay, time to check the other side before we head over to the center here. Come on, Indigo. Wherever you went. Before we go in there, which looks like a trap, like a dead, dead giveaway of a trap, let's check these areas over here, see if we can find necromancers to deal with. There's one over there. Looks like he hasn't seen us yet. And it goes nowhere to be found. I guess we might be on our own this time. Wish I could see where Inigo is at. Where did he go? Oh, he's probably reset and coming back then. Let's go all the way back. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about him that much. How much try to assault the mage directly at his back? And then, if necessary, go up at him with a mason and a shield and try to take him out that way. Let's go for this spine here, like lower back. Ooh, nice. With that, Inigo's help. <laughs> there he is, just rolling around there. Ash and Defender, Iron Arrow, I'll take that back. Mm, what have we got here? Defender, true shot, true shot is going to be good for us, and defender. Daedra Heart, oh. Alchemy Lab, nothing really of extreme use for us down here. Steel Arrows I will take, nothing up there. <laughs> like I said, I love it how that we have to like jump up uh, to the shelf and actually check what's on top in order to, you know, find anything useful. Workers 2 will take. More steel arrows, that's good. Now we got plenty of arrows to actually fire away. Might be able to use some steel arrows now. Let's go fair. Uh, we don't need to favor we need to we don't need to worry about favoriting them, I think we'll be fine. Alright, Indigo. Let's go inside. There's a chest down here. Do you want to investigate? 
Lock picks, stamina magic, iron arrows. And there is the final chest where we could try to find the shield. I don't see any spell weave over here, so I think it's okay for us to go over to the chest and grab it. Rogi's Ancient Shield. Oh, wow, now it's dropping some good stuff on us. Our Imperial Iron Ward Staff. Gauntlets. Carnet, I'll take that. Soul Gems, I'll take. Take this as well. Resist Magic. Health Potion Recipe, good to have. Hidden Cobra. Uh, Septums. Spell Tome Alarm. One or two when the foes approach within 150 feet. One attack foes already in range when cast. I guess we can take that. We're not really a spellcaster. Cast a Vengeful Spirit that homes in on target and explodes for a future points of Magicka. Flames. Uh, Amulet of K. Circle of Minor Archery. That might be really good for us to have. Actually, we should probably give it to Inigo. What do you need? I want to give you something. Don't drop anything noisy. I won't, I won't, as long as you don't drop anything. Let's go ahead and give him this circlet so he does a lot more damage. I mean, he already does a decent amount of damage, but if you give this to him, that's gonna increase his uh, arrows and damage in I general. I'm with you all the way. Thank you, Inigo. I appreciate it. Let's see if there's anything out here again. I don't see any necromancers within the area. Yeah, none around here. I guess we can just take whatever is around this place. What have we got? A soul gem. Lunar lock hand. I guess we can read that up. Healing, magicka. What else we get down here? Hey. Soul gem. And a book. I did grab the soul gem, so that's good. Okay. Let's see if we can make our way through here and find an escape. Might be something I'm here, so I want to be careful, just in case. Careful, Indigo, there could be more necromancers. Technically, they're not necromancers, they are just rogue mages, so I guess apostates? The best. Oh! What do you would call them? Right in the chest. We didn't get the heart. But at least the impact was big enough. Nordic Iron War Staff. Ooh, it doesn't wait a lot, so we can take that. Take the clothes, that's fine. Take my arrow back. Huh. Her body and her head are a different color. I don't know why, why it's already doing that. I don't know what it is. Adapt, I can unlock that, at least I'm not even gonna try. Alright, let's keep going then. Guess maybe the lady didn't work on the tan well enough. What's over here? Oh, this might be the exit. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's the go resetting. Okay, that just didn't go resetting because apparently he got stuck somewhere. Alright, so uh, we're good. We got the Rogi's shield and might be able to come back and return the bounty. That'll be kind of cool. And it's now nighttime. Beautiful, beautiful night in Kynesgrove. Probably not good because the wolves are around. There could be more bandits and necromancers. It's best if we actually leave out here as soon as possible. Uh, Gyrka Satchel. Bounty from your life. Who's, you, who's your life? Who did we get the bounty from? Return the bounty... Retrieve Greco Satchel Supplies. Supplies. Okay, we gotta come back to your life to, to turn in the bounty. So we will have to go over to, uh... We'll have to go over to... Uh... Winter... Uh, no, Windhelm, Windhelm. Now Winterfell. I realized that when I made our first playthrough with the Aragonian Orphan. If any of y'all... Probably most of y'all watched that. I'll have seen that sometime on YouTube. Um... When I made that playthrough, I started calling Windhelm... Uh, Winterfell, or I called White Run Winterfell, because at the time I was watching Game of Thrones and binging on Game of Thrones that all the names, oh god, the wolves, all the names of the locations and places really gotten to me. And more wolves. Isn't that just lovely? Uh, I should probably go ahead and at least 
wear a uh, travel cloak. It's gonna make me naked. Lovely. Uh, let's go ahead and now put on at least for armor, fine hat, have the mask on. Why not? Probably best if you had a torch out as well, now that I think about it. There we go. So we can lad away in case, you know, in case something's going on. And yes, there could be bandits that could attack us at night. And there are wolves over there. But as long as we don't mess with anybody, we should be fine. Let's see if we can just head over this way. Ma there's a giant over there walking around. They seem to notice us, but as long as we don't, you know, encroach on the territory or the mammoths, I think it'll be fine. You know, we're just passing through. It's best if you have some sort of a torch with us to light the way. Now, the torch is kind of a bad thing because we are lighting the way, uh, telling everybody that, hey, we're within the area, and if you are banded, you can attack us, so if you want to attack us, you're more than welcome to. Or these particular people could be attacked as well. Wait, these are the Dawn Guard. Oh, that means there could be vampires nearby. In you go. We need to be careful. Septums. We could try collect some of those stuff. Actually, now that I think about it, this armor might be a lot better than what we have with the... Uh, what are they called? This armor might be a lot better than what we have with the... The Empire's armor. And this is factionless. I mean, we're only gonna be wearing this kind of stuff, so it should be fine if we wear, like, Dawnguard armor. And I think it's gonna be really bad for us. There's a shield. It is a heavy shield. If I might wanna take that. Torch I will take as well. Bolts. There's a husky here. Oh, that's... Oh, God, that's so sad to see. Alright, well... We'll see if we can salvage here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, then. <laughs> a little revealing there. Let's go and put this stuff on. Uh, the helmet I'm not gonna wear right now. I'm just gonna have the hat on in case it gets, you know, cold in here. It is night out, so it's best if we stay really wary of... Vampires. We never fought as a vampire as Kara, so she probably doesn't know what to expect here. But it's best if we have some sort of weapons with us. Dawnguard War Axe might be really good to have. We'll keep that. What weapon did she have? A Warhammer. Oh. Alright, in you go. Uh, before we continue, let me just check on the Warhammer. Or War Axe. Uh, Steel Mace is 11 damage. Uh, Iron War. What is it? Where is that? Where is it at? There we go. Dawnguard War Axe is 12 damage. Might be best to keep that favorited and put away the uh, the mace. Now yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna unfavorite the mace. We're gonna keep the War Axe on us in case something happens. And uh, let's just try to run back to Kynes Grove without uh, hopefully getting murdered. We'll keep our torch out just in case, so we can see a little bit in the dark. Actually, wh why do we why do we even need a uh, torch? Hold on one sec. I completely realized that I have something called Night Eye. There we go. Seeing in the dark is going to be a lot better this time than walking around with a torch. And will keep us protected because we don't have to worry about getting jumped for no reason. There we go. I keep forgetting that we have Night Eye as, you know, as Khajiiti and it's a modded Night Eye so it's even better. As to see really far away. I don't, know why, I don't know why I have my weapon out. My bad. Not me to do that. Let's go ahead and head over to Kynes Grove through the shortcut. If there are any vampires, however, we will be careful and weary. Because if Dawnguard is dying, most likely Dawnguard died from a vampire attack. Because otherwise they don't really have anybody to fight. Okay, so where is the person we need to talk to? He should be around here somewhere. Take off the night eye. There he is. Hey, Rogi. We gotta talk to you about something. I visit. Working our mine is dangerous work. But Dravnia keeps it going. Well, Dravnia and the promise of more meat. That shelter of the heat feels distant. Yeah, we're getting cold here. Might need to save the night. I found a shield. My clan's shield. So Lena really did stumble into that cave and was eaten by monsters. In honor of his memory, let me show you a few shield techniques. And tell me if you're leaving town. Be good to travel again. So now we can ask Rogi to actually follow us if you want to. Huh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's kind of neat. When we level up our shield techniques just a little bit, that's good.
Okay, so I had to reset because for some reason the game crashed, not sure exactly what happened, but let's go ahead and head inside the Kynes Grove Inn. And Indigo and I are gonna just uh, spend the night here because it would be probably dangerous to travel Morning. out. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. That's good. We'll be back. We should also try to see if we can check the mine. I'm mine there again. Let's go and get a room for ourselves. Yes. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. Well now, I guess I owe you my thanks. Good to see you. Me? I guess I'm. How are we doing over here? Being thankful for something. How can I argue with that? Okay. How things been with you? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room, right this way. There's plenty more where that came from. Just give a holler. Wow, she's hitting on him. Guess nobody is moving around. I think this is the room we're supposed to head over to. Alright, in you go. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to share uh, rooms here. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything else you need. Okay, sounds good. Well, here you go. Uh, you can go get your own room if you want. I think we're gonna stay in this nice luxurious room. It is, you know, ten. Uh, it cost us 10 gold in total. It's gonna be a lot dangerous coming out here, but we did find a very, very nice set of armor out in the world. But that means the vampires could be around, and if vampires are around, that is probably bad news for everybody in Skyrim. And we gotta be a lot more careful, but with Indigo around, I feel a little bit safer, and I feel like it might be a little bit easier for us to travel and just explore different worlds. I should have given the other armor, uh, the heavy armor from Dunguard over to Inigo, but I think we want to dress him up something lighter so he's more agile. He seems like a more agile kind of character. Nevertheless